Start the show! Welcome, everyone, to the New South Comedy Festival Digital Edition. We've got a unique show for you as our penultimate show of the festival. It's called Quarantine Together. We've got eight sets of improv scenes for you, pre-recorded from different places across the country with folks who are quarantining together. Let's get started with our first group. Hello there. Hi. I'm Craig Kukowski. I'm Carla Kukowski. But collectively we are... Orange Tuxedo. Tuxedo. Yeah, we're in LA. We're just chilling in quarantine times. Just living our brilliant quarantine life with no one to improvise with except each other. I mean, every day is an improv scene. That's right. Yeah. A 24 hour one. We're going to do never a much ends. shorter, much shorter improv scene. The comedy around here never ends. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just going to get one suggestion from this wonderful improv suggestion generator app. And we're going to do a documentary style scene? Yeah, we'll just do a little like okay. uh, like interview style relationship scene. So what do you want? Uh, just a word? A word. Okay. We're going to get a word. And Carla, that suggestion is cafeteria. Right. Yeah, so it was like this um, really kind of crazy thing where for a long time I was considered a nerd. I was like part of the nerd group. That's like impossible to believe because you're so like, un I mean, you're smart, but mm -hmm. you're so unnerdy. I know. Well, I've blossomed. I've I had a whole transitional period of like three months um, where over the summer break between junior and senior year and I came back and I was like super hot. I mean you were friends with nerds. I mean don't get me wrong. So like that's probably why you got that reputation yeah. as a nerd. But then she kind of like moved up several clicks. I did. Yeah. And I don't talk to any of my old friends anymore. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Because they're I, nerds. When we pass their table in the cafeteria at lunch... I pretend like they don't exist. Yeah, which we have to because they sit right by the garbage. Yeah, so everybody has to pass. That was actually um, purposeful when, when we decided when we were nerds that we were going to sit there because then we thought, well, they'll have to acknowledge us. Yeah, but we do like, hey, hey, you sit next to garbage. Like, that's the way that we acknowledge them. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty funny. It wasn't funny when they were pointing at me and saying it, but it's super funny now that I point at other people and say it. And it's way easier to dunk a nerd's head in a, a pail of garbage when they're sitting right next to it. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> so much garbage in my hair. Um, so I'm Trent. I'm the point guard on the basketball team. I am the running back on the football team. Mm -hmm. And I am the shortstop on the baseball team. He's super athletic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many athletes want to be like him. Yeah. Like somebody told me the other day that Michael Jordan wanted to be like me. Yeah. I, I told him that. <laughs> I said that. That was a joke. Oh, it was? Yeah. Because I took it literally. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know Michael Jordan, stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's pretty old at this point. Now that I'm like part of the inner clique, um, I can totally confirm that athletes are pretty dumb. <laughs> but she tutors me. Yeah, I tutor him. Mm -hmm. Just so, just to help. Actually, I do, I take his tests for him. Man, because I'm having a hard time in trigonometry. It's tough. Trig is tough. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm uh, Felina. And... I'm Trent. Right. Did I say that? You said it. Okay. And I'm Felina. <laughs> and I am uh, a swan. I've become a swan. She was an ugly duckling, now she's a swan. Exactly. And so that's, you know, um, the superlatives in the yearbook. <laughs> that's me. Swan. Felina is a cool name because, and you told me this, it's composed of three elements on the periodic table. That's true. Fe for iron, mm -hmm. Li for lithium, and Na for not available. Exactly. Which was something I had to tell him when he was like calling me at two in the morning. She's like, I'm, I'm NA, like Na. Not available. Na. But I persisted. You did. Still, he persisted. And he won. And so now we're going to prom We're going together. to prom together. We're going to prom. Yeah. She was worried it was going to be like a carry situation. At first I thought, like, are you fucking with me, Trent? But then I realized, like, wait, I'm cool now. Yeah, it's pretty legitimate. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll find out on prom night. 
I mean, I guess we will. I could be messing with him. Maybe what? I've turned the tables. What? What? Anyway, so I'm renting a tux. And I'm renting a dress. And uh, hopefully we'll be king and queen, right? I hope so. I mean, it, we're definitely one of the choices on the paper. I know because I wrote, I typed out the papers. And nobody's going to dump pig's blood on you or anything like that. Why do you keep saying that? I don't know. I'm just obsessed with the movie Carrie. Okay. Well, weird. The TV Something version. weird. The TV version? Yeah. Who's in the TV version? Patricia Clarkson. Oh, she's pretty good. Yeah, she's pretty good. She plays a lot of moms. Yeah. She looks like my mom. Maybe that's why I like that movie. Trent has this weird fascination with his mother. Yeah, because she's missing. <laughs> uh, thanks, everyone. That was our show. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully we'll see you IRL in the Greenville area sometime soon. But uh, it's great. nice to connect however we can. And that was fun, Carla. It was fun. What happened to the mom? Jason? This is Hannah. Uh, and we are co-workers. Mm. Uh, we're going to do a special co-worker set tonight. We're going to do like an improvised uh, news anchors. We also have Madison with us. Uh, she is our trusted uh, suggestion giver. Also my roommate. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Madison, uh, I don't know, what, what should we report the news on today? Halloween candy. Halloween, Halloween candy. candy. Welcome to BBC News. Our top story tonight, Halloween candy is making you gay. True. <laughs> crop tops. Crop, crop tops. tops. Yeah. Our second top story, crop tops, gay. Our third story for tonight, are crop tops gay? In the mm. gates, the second story. I'm also getting breaking news. Harry Styles is wearing crop tops. Very contradictory information. I'll be honest, I don't know who Harry Styles is. <laughs> breaking news, my co-anchor is very straight. My co-host doesn't have a personality. <laughs> I think we would know if I didn't have a personality. <laughs> Kombucha. Kombucha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good evening, our top story tonight Kombucha's gross. I don't like living things in my stomach. You have terrible health. And all Americans need to start ingesting things they may not like or you'll die soon. Oh, breaking news. I have diabetes. Type one. Wow. That was a curveball. Yeah, I did not see that coming. No. Oh, breaking news from our producer who has mm. info on everything. I'm healthy as a whistle. Veganism is paying off. <laughs> oh, also got a note from our producer. Gonorrhea is not healthy. Oh, mm. that's a good note. Oh, yep. breaking. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. I was just reminded that I am still unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I forget that? Good to be reminded, though. <laughs> yes, we're all unhappy. <laughs> between 1 and 45. Whoa. Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to choose my age, which is 41. <gasps> 41. Uh, thank it. you. Thank you for saying that because a gentleman does not ask the age. Um, <laughs> 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. Okay, this comes from Michael. <laughs> and uh, our suggestion is um, there's always a third way. There's always a third way. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Let's see where that takes us. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I, I guess I guess there was there's always another way to do this who knew right? I didn't I didn't know <laughs> yeah 
Like here I'm thinking you rob a bank. Yep. You go into the bank, you like state your demands, you get the money and you go. But apparently we're just dealing with a whole new level of, of robbery here. Well, I mean, in that way, it's like, it's pretty cut and dry. But, yeah. I, you know, to say that there's a, a, another way where we walk into the bank, we say, we're here to rob the bank. We then leave the bank. We don't actually take any of the money. Right, just go again. We just go again and we just keep popping up and we lull them into a sense of satisfaction as if, oh, here these two are again. Yeah. And when then are they going to rob us already? Yeah. And then we do it and they're like, oh, finally, here's yeah. my money. Yeah. Like they willingly give us, see, this is why I like working with you is because People, a lot of times, they just want to say no to any anything that's out of the ordinary. That's the problem is like people go, yeah. it's black or white. It's yeah. uh, purple or green. I mean, it's uh, th th those were both pretty solid analogies there. Um, so they're yeah, like, I mean, this is the Wild West, man. Yes. It's time to just get started and just do something else. Play with people's emotions by appearing and then disappearing again. That see, I was talking to my uncle, and he said it's about not about what you do, it's about how you make people feel. Ah, yes. I remember your uncle. Mm -hmm. Your your uncle Orville Wilbur. Yeah, Orville Wilbur. Like, yeah, he did the the first like real bank robbery. And I mean, I worship that guy, you know? Yeah. And so I mean, if he's down for change, I'm down for change. Like, who Good. Good pun. Change? Bank robbery? Yeah. Great, great pun. Great. Oh, remember that day we yeah. went to that first federal, I forgot, it was like a credit union, and all we yeah. got was like $50 in quarters? <laughs> Talk about egg on our faces. That was crazy. I mean... I mean, in one way, I felt completely embarrassed, but in the other way, I had finally achieved a task and I, I, that I set my mind out to do. And before that, I've been a talker. Right. You know, and now we're just doing it. Or we're doing it and then not doing it and doing it again. Yeah, we're doing, not doing, redoing, doing it again. By the time we think about it, by the ninth time we come in, they're like, just take the money. We are just yeah. happy to see you. Right. They might meet us at the car with the money. And they're like, oh, okay. It's been 20 minutes. We knew you were coming back. Don't even get out the car. You know, well, curbside service. Curbside service. Hmm. They'll take it to us. They'll take it to us. We've been, you know, we've been working harder and not smarter. And I think that this is a way for us to work smarter. Oh my God. You just said we've been working harder, but not smarter. That is, that's pretty brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I made that up myself. I like to come up with different, you know, quips and non sequiturs and, you know, sometimes I'm like just driving around and I'm like, Amy, you should work smarter, not harder. And then I write it down and I tell it to a friend, just like does, now. Does that, does that blow your mind twice? It's got, it blows your mind the first time when you think of it. Yeah. And then when you write it down and see it. Yeah. Like the first time I'm like, oh my gosh, am I a genius? And I'm really impressed with myself. And then I get to relive it when I tell it to somebody else. It's great. Well, can I, Amy, can I be honest with you? Sure, sure. I mean, Anything, Jeff. When you said to me, hey, there's got to be a third way. I I went for a long walk by the river. Mm. Yeah, your thinking place. And I was like, 
there's no way there's a third way. I'm like, there's no, there can't be a third way. There's only two ways to rob a bank. Yeah. And I, I walked for, for the full night. I walked throughout the night and I was like, Amy's always on to something, but maybe this time she doesn't know what it is. Maybe. And then I was like, no, she knows what she's talking about. We just need to find out what that third thing is. Yeah. Yeah. Rule of threes. There's always, always a third way to do things. I, yeah. I just want to apologize first off for doubting you even the slightest. Like I was, the, the fact that I thought that oh, you might not know what you're talking about, like really hurts me. And I needed to say it because it's got to get out in the light. It's got to be seen. You know what? You have nothing to apologize for. <gasps> really? When I thought about it myself, I thought, okay, this is insane. Like you don't, like this is not an idea. <laughs> I had to take some time with it. So I totally understand. And then that's a great thing about you. We are checks and balances in this whole enterprise. Good pun again with the check yeah. and the balance. I just send them out, you know? If you catch them, you catch them. Oh, I caught them. And I'm yeah. open for more of those. Yeah. Just keep on going. Oh, I, man. Uh, can I tell you something else now? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I, I should have, so uh, I don't know if I enjoying so much our time together. I enjoy what we do. I enjoy robbing banks. I enjoy counting the money that I, I'm not, I don't know how to say, it. I'm just going to say it. Um, I, left Tilly, I am no longer, we are no longer married. Oh. And because I enjoy spending my time with you so much doing what we're doing. Yeah. And I feel that I've been a little bit distant with trying to come up with these plans. You're always coming up with the, the plans. You're doing all of the work. You're doing all the heavy lifting. And I want to fully recommit myself to you to be the best bank robbing partner I can be. I'm cutting all my distractions. I'm getting rid of them all. I'm, yeah. I'm moving forward with this as my main priority. Yeah. You know what that is, friend? That is growth. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. Again with the pun. Again. <laughs> I don't know where they come from. They're just here and now they're out there. Whether whether you're just telling a story or you're trying to, to help someone out, they just come in there at the right place. It is yeah. growth. Yeah, it's it's growth. It's ROI. Huh? Return <laughs> on investment. Yeah. This, this investment. Is, yeah. And the return on this investment is going to satisfy me, not just financially, but personally as well. Yeah. Yeah. It is so, going to uh, award you with dividends. No. Both friendship and the money that we take. No. Yeah. Remember what I said? We need to do. We should go into counseling together to make sure that our team is strong. And we yep. did. And Dr. Helen was like, you are ready to go do more crimes. I believed her from that moment. And I knew that you would be on board. And spot on impression of Dr. Helen. That was a yeah. spot on impression of Dr. Helen there. Mm, you know, I love Dr. Helen. Oh, man. Uh, I She's love what we have between us. Yeah. We're not going to get caught. Not again. No. Not no. again, because we are not meant to be in separate prisons. No. Whew, that was hard. Well, if we do get caught again, that'll be our third time. <gasps> and there's always a third way to get out. Holy smokes. Yes! I'm 
a mask on now. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Hi, we're Duran Duran Duran. My name is Lil Vin. My name is Papa Claudio. And I'm Alex. That's right. And we are going to do a little improv for you right here at the world famous Dodger Stadium in line to get tested for the vicious COVID virus. Vicious. Uh, but we just need a suggestion to get going. And we have a suggestion from an app earlier. That suggestion was a Tree Leaf. Tree leaf. So we will uh, get going with a suggestion of Tree Leaf. Thank you. Oh yeah, the foliage uh, around here is incredible. You want to be up here probably around late October, early November. Right. I mean, it, it gets going early October, late September, you know, but it really hits the peak sort of right around the end of October, and that's, you know, Vermont's a beautiful place. Okay, yeah, and so are we coming up to, which which model are you showing us? Is it is it this cabin? Or? Yeah, it's this cabin up here. Ooh, Although nice. with, the, with the red, uh, um, what are those called? Cabinets? Awning? No. I mean, it is. Shutters. Red shutters. shutters. Oh, red and shutters. red shutters. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not that one. Oh. It's actually, so, coming up with it. Oh, yeah. this one with the little oh, red. Is it, is it the one with the red um, awning? No. 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 Uh, porch. Uh, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. No, it's actually not that one either. It's a little bit further. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this little pair of bunnies in front of this house here, honey. <gasps> oh, is it that one with the red um, awning? Yeah. Yep. It is the one with the red awning right <gasps> here with it. the bunnies. That's it. Got it. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, we don't need much space. It's just the two of us. Does it come the with the bunnies? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I do, but Can I don't. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Beautiful. And so, okay. And so, is it true you can get maple syrup right out of the trees here? Oh, look, guys, if I'm being honest right now, I'm not really a realtor. What? What the heck? We spent I the know. last two days with you in cars. You, 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 you drove up and you were so excited I didn't have the heart to tell you no You know what I mean and You've just been being nice Yeah I don't know They say Vermont nice And that's my deal You know And you guys were so fun and so cool And with this COVID stuff I've been trapped inside so long Living by myself Here's a word of advice to you In case of another pandemic Get a freaking roommate You know what I mean Oh well we are we are married. We're each other's roommates. Right. No, I, or, or get married, you know. That's that's my advice. So I guess it's not good advice for you guys. It's advice that I wish someone had told me yourself. before the pandemic. Well, look, Rick, uh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, my name's not Rick. Oh. I know. What else are you going to tell us now? The house isn't for sale. The, Rick, no, there's no, none of these houses are for sale. None of them are for sale. It's all fake. It's all fake. Oh, my No. Gosh. I'm so sorry. What is your we're, name? We're, 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 my name? Well, Rick is the name I wanted to have. Rick's the name that I wish I, I was. I wish okay. I was Rick. Let's just keep calling you Rick so that you can live out this thing and we can continue our life. Honey, we're going to stay. I don't even plan any places. Rick said that he'd get us a place. I'll, I'll get you a place. I'll, I'll find you a place. So you can crash in my studio for sure. Like a photography studio? That's cool. Yeah, it's mostly food photography. Oh, like tabletop? Yeah, tabletop like cheeseburgers stuff. Paradise. Cheeseburgers in paradise. Cheeseburgers in paradise. Don't sing it. Oh, no, but seriously, you're, where? Where is your studio? It's back in Brattleboro. It's Brattleboro. About, yeah, Brattleboro. It, it's about it's about forty five minutes from here. I'm Up. so I'm so freaking sorry. Yeah, no, uh, down. Uh, up. No. You know, I we know, only get one wild. vacation every three years. We yeah. need to find a house, Rick. I'm so sorry, guys. Can I be honest? <sighs> Vermont's really not all it's cracked up to be. I moved out of here from sunny Irvine, California, and Orange. when I got oh, Irvine, incredible. Orange County. Orange, yeah, the Orange because County. Of the Orange trees. Mm -hmm. like. Um, and you don't want to live here. Just go back. Go back to wherever you came from. What a, well, what? where we came from is Seal Beach, California. 45 minutes south of Irvine. More like an hour. So, so we're what probably... Do you, what do, what? I'm freaking sorry, guys. I really, I, I ruined your your vacation and I, you know, your I, house hunt. And since we're being honest, I got to be honest with you, Rick. I'm pretty peeved off. I am pretty peed off. Thank you, honey. It just felt so fun to be someone else for a second. You know, tabletop photographer in Vermont doesn't get as much work as you would think. Yeah, sure. I'm Brattleboro's top tabletop photographer. Say that three times fast, I bet you. Oh, that. believe me, I've tried, and people laugh at me when I do. Honey, try that. Brattleboro's tabletop. Top Brattleboro's top tabletop photographer. Brattleboro's top tabletop photographer. Brattleboro's top tabletop photographer. All right, it is easier than I thought it would be, but I'm not happy with you, Rick. I'm not either. 
Rick. I you, want a refund. You need to. You need to give us a refund, and you need to figure out a, a, a lodging for us. Look, how about this? I'll f I'll freaking find a house for you guys. Okay. Oh, Come out here the next time that you can no, on vacation. No, no, no. I'm saying. Three years from now, on your next vacation, whenever it is you three get, come years. out. That, that's when you said three years. Is the that's only, how long you said that's you our intervals between vacations yeah. are three oh, years. Right, it's right. the only times they match up with their schedules. Our joint vacation. That's right. Or either both of you come back by yourselves and do it separately. I could never. I could think about it. <gasps> okay. We need a house. We we need a house now, not in the future. And I can't believe you're thinking about taking vacations apart from me. Well, I can't wait another three years stuffed up in that little freaking condo in Seal Beach. It's Seal Beach! That's all you got is condos! Rick, sorry. Rick, do you talk to women that way? I'm sorry. I I would I if I could. It. I would if I could. Oh. To have someone who I could argue well with, as well as you guys do, would be the joy of my damn life. Well, you well, gotta be Brattleboro's top bachelor. Well, right? here's the deal, guys. I've made some bad choices and I wound up alone. But when I see a couple like you that has such a strong foundation that you can fight, but fight, not only fight, but fight well, that's something to treasure, you know? And that's what I mean. You came up, you were so nice, you had so much going for you, and I just, I wanted to be a part of that for just one friggin' weekend. Honey? Well done, I have maple syrup on my face. I feel like I got a, two rabbits coming down my pants right now. Right. Playing around in there. Scratching them inside of my butt cheeks. Rick, I feel like getting I'm getting up behind. Getting up in my in, in my intestines. Swimming around in there. Making me feel weird and queasy. Let me live with this, you in Seal Beach. Oh, come on, come on Rick! Let me do it! Rick! Leaning towards it! Free photos, we're fine. Well, we did start that restaurant. What? Oh, right. Yes. What do you guys sell? Hot dogs. Oh, I love a hot dog. <laughs> ask how ask how long. How long are you running for? Or how long are the hot dogs? Half football. Half football. Six inches? You got it. Half footers. They're called they're called Anaheim Angel Dogs. We're competing with the famous basketball team. The basketball team? <laughs> Oh, I love when you talk sports, honey. Seed! <laughs> ah, uh, it's so silly. We're adults. I know. <laughs> We're adults who haven't improvised for months in line for a COVID test. <laughs> During a deadly pandemic. I'm During a deadly pandemic. Well, we're finding some fun. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Lindsay. I live in Brooklyn. I'm from uh, the UK. I sound Australian because I lived in Sydney. I love how you switched into your slave mode. Very much like, hi, I'm Lindsay Bunnell. I'm like, twice for eight. I will shave, like, all those. <laughs> I will not shave. Me neither. <laughs> uh, Shem from Brooklyn. Uh, no, I live in Brooklyn. Uh, it's just a lie I tell myself when I'm rhyming. Alright, um, we're gonna do a scene, um, we're just gonna play a random song, um, and then that will inspire us. If there's lots of toots and beeps in the background, uh, it's because you have a very interesting approach to democracy in this country, <laughs> um, but we can't edit around them, so <laughs> that's fine. Uh, hey Siri, play any song? Playing all songs shuffled. People from North Jersey and South Jersey, they legitimately don't like each other. <laughs> Within the boundaries of New Jersey. Hey, Jerry, stop. Just a 
bird. Look, I'm clumsy. I knock my bottle over. That's a delightful bird. Just saying hello. Daisy. It's hard to do the macarena when you're a cow, I know. <laughs> by drinking your own juice. number between 1 and 49? Um, 20, 25. Okay, 25. All right, I'm going to count and you are going to fill the space. Okay. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. All right, yeah. Like I, I got a suggestion. All right. This one is from Michael. Uh, Michael Ananins, I think is how you pronounce his last name. Um, and the suggestion is, do, 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 do. I've been having strange dreams. Okay. Wow. Strange dreams. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, I think it's always best that we turn our camera off. And then when we come back on, we're in the middle of the scene. Got it. And uh, we'll go about 10 minutes or so. Ten, and I will call scene. So you don't have to worry about it.
The suggestion is I've been having strange dreams. Hey, hey, Kim. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. Um. Good morning. Yeah. That, I had such a great night. I, did I slept until my body was like fully rested. You're so awake. You're so energetic in the morning. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I will. We didn't have to get up as early today. <laughs> I was going to tickle your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm so rested. Yeah. I'm so rested. Yeah, I can. You know, I I just slept. I I was one of those nights for me, darling, where I just close my eyes and open my eyes. It's like a blink. Remember when you were a kid and you would just blink and the night would be over. Remember that? Yeah. That was last night for me. I was like, I was just laying in your arms, and then like the, the next moment in my life that was just when you said hi. <laughs> Whoa! I I had the opposite. What? The exact opposite. Because even though I feel like really energetic, it was like this really long adventure. Oh. Like, uh, I felt like it's been days since we went to bed. <laughs> lucky. That's lucky that you got caught up on some sleep. You got three days of sleep in one night. <laughs> but it was very active. Okay. But I must have been like all the way asleep. Like, I'm not, uh, but. I it was very um it's very I've been having it was very strange. The story. What, what you you want to you obviously want to tell me about it. You really you really want to tell me about it. Go for it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm also like okay, like uh like go we can just you know get on with our day. You don't I don't I don't know. See, this is a part of you that I am not see this is this is kind of as this, this is the new thing, honey. I mean, some people are the kind of, I feel like they're the kind of people come into two categories, the people that have to tell you about their dreams and the people that look at dreams as just personal things. And I'm really curious as to where you fall in, which, which side of the fence you fall in, which person I am. Super okay. personal. Like you're not even a look, you might not even look at me the same if I told, tell you about this dream. No, there's no, darling, there's no way that you're, your dream is going to change how I see you because dreams aren't real. Okay, they're not real. Darling. They're completely just say a anything movie. about me. Like the Nothing. thing that I did in this Nothing. dream. <laughs> okay, you have to decide if you're the kind of person if you talk. See, you know me. I just don't talk about my dreams. I just don't do yeah. it. Okay. Well, maybe you didn't know that. Now you know that. Okay. But you seem like someone who has to tell it. So tell it. Spill. Spill the tea, baby. Okay. All right. This is just, it was a really long dream. Well, okay. Well, then I'm going to make coffee, okay? Yeah, well, start, you, making like, co start making coffee while I... So it starts off, it's me in our house, in our bedroom. Like, it was like real literal, like, I'm in the bedroom, you're asleep. Um, and I wake up in the middle of the night this is not, you know, this is not working for me. Okay, I, darling, I just got to tell you the reason why I, I can't, I literally cannot stand the, like, imagine I only want the kernel of it. I do not need the episodic of your dream. Okay, I don't mean, to, I, I just, I got, I, while you were talking, I was trying to find it interesting, but I can't listen to the whole thing from the beginning. Just give me like the, give me the, you know, the trailer. I'll, I will listen to the trailer of your dream, but that's as much as I can do, okay? <laughs> that's fair. That's Thank fair. Thank you for right? being so honest. Thank you for being so honest, Kim. Come on. I think we're going, I, I feel like this is, this is something that I'm willing to be honest about. I want us to really know each other, okay? All right. All right. So, um, yeah. So in the dream, I, I strip you naked. <laughs> Okay, that's good. I like that part. Yeah, uh, you're asleep, and I strip you naked, and for some reason, I have to carry you to the neighbor's house. What? Okay. All right, we're thirty seconds into the trailer. You got like ninety seconds left. Yeah. Okay. And then 
our neighbors, Jill, Jack, and their son, Leroy, they're all like treating you like you're an alien and they're probing you. Oh, come on. Okay. All right. And we, I make some sort of like chart and I'm like keeping track of stats and your vital stacks, stats. And it's like, um, I'm like a scientist. And then I report you to the president of the United States. <laughs> And then I said, we have found an alien. I just wanted to turn her in. <laughs> I turned, I turn you in and they come and the helicopters come and people rush down. They put you <laughs> in this helicopter and they take you away. They give me this card and they're like, if you find any more aliens, um, I need you to call me. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for that. That's great. I'd like thanks for the trailer. I love how you compressed it. You used the, the classic selection and compression technique that good storytelling uses. And we got it. I, I tell you, um, now I got a question for you, darling. Here's this, I'm just being straight up honest, okay? Yeah. If that was a trailer, if we're sitting on a couch and we're we're just going through, we're just you, you know, we're just we're looking at previews on YouTube. If we see that preview, are we gonna watch that movie? Yeah. I love alien movies. Me too. I love it. I just feel like I'm not going to watch that movie. And that's the cool <laughs> thing about dreams. That's the cool thing about dreams. It just, it, you never have to watch that movie ever again. That's the cool no. thing about them, you know? And that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that, that you want to, it's not a metaphor for what you want to do with our room. It is not. It is not like I'm overtaking your apartment and I brought my, I brought my box of underwear or whatever it was last week. And I brought my painting and I put it in your foyer. And now you feel like I'm an alien invading your space. And now you want to, to report me to authority that's doesn't mean that darling it does not mean that okay yeah dreams mean nothing yeah well i mean whatever they it's like you had a feeling does a feeling mean like if you're in a bad mood is that like okay well i don't know bad bad omen no it just means you had that was just your mind you pictures and movement and sound it's just like a movie yeah sometimes i feel like you are an alien, though. I think you're forcing. You're forcing it. You're forcing I, really, it. I think you are. I think you are. You. It's just one of the things that you do. And actually, I love it about you. I'm. I love it about you. You see the poetry in moments. You. You. We're driving home, and you see the sunset, and you find the meaning in that. And you're like, this means something. Or, or like last week I brought home cottage cheese from the grocery store. Like I brought, I bought the wrong kind. I bought the low fat kind instead of the whole milk kind. And you were like, wait a minute, maybe you don't get me. Maybe you don't get me. And I, I found that, I mean, I was a little stressed at the time, but I find it cute that you find the poetry in moments. I do. I were together because for me, everything just is what it is. I don't, I don't know if you do get me. <laughs> because you're like you're like I only want to hear the trailer like you don't even there was like more information in that dream um do you want me to say so do you want me to just submerge my point of view and not and not be honest with you and be like a version of myself that's better for you is that what you want out of our relationship because I want there are so many things about you I would change if it <laughs> if you were my toy but you're not an action yeah. figure Okay, you are a real human being. I don't get to tinker with you. I get to love you for who you are. And I do, I do love you. I think we are, I think we are forever. Not because of the poetry of it. Yeah. I like it, I like it. I agree. It. We're gonna be together forever. We're soulmates, we're, we belong to be together. Um, okay. But you gotta tell me what, what you would change. Pretend I am a toy. <laughs> you can't this, trap. This, is obviously a, this is a trap this is the last this is how we break up darling no we're not gonna break up we're already agreeing kim we're this never is, gonna we're not we're we get along we're not breaking stop up it. stop it stop it okay. you're not stop breaking it. up we we're not gonna just let just take off your shirt and instead of doing having that conversation take your clothes off okay <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah, I'm just wearing okay. this tank top. <laughs> okay, see, this isn't this better than having that fucked up conversation of like, let me tell you how you're wrong. Doesn't this feel better? No, yeah, we're not. 
I'm not going to talk about what's wrong. Just if we were a toy, what would we change? I'm not going to fall for it. Okay, do you, you, you want it? Really? You want it? I mean, it, it, for fun. <laughs> this is not fun. Okay, it's not a fun conversation to have. Oh, just for fun, tell me how you change my, my life. Just for fun, tell me that my job's fucked up and that, that you're that like literally you settled. You settled so hard when you got your job with the city that, that you, you should be manager. I mean, you, I can't believe you have the degree and the training and the absolute vision to be a city manager, but you took the job of assistant city manager because you don't want to work as hard. You you have the intelligence, but not the ambition. Why would you want to know? I feel that way about you. Yeah. See, I can take it. I see this is fun. That was fun. This, that was I did fun. not enjoy that. I did not enjoy that at all. Put your shirt back on. I don't want to fuck now. Now I don't want to fuck you. I, why would I want to fuck some guy who should be the boss? Okay, I don't want to fuck the assistant. Put your shirt back on. I'm Jeez. going out of brunch. Me because you got, you know what's great about you is when you get real like on a rant like that, you turn bright red in the cheeks. And <laughs> you, your whole face looked like a turnip. Which I love. I love when you get so red. I'm going to brunch by myself this morning, just so you know. You are not coming. You are not. You stay here. My toy is going to stay home. I'm going to go to brunch. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, I love when you, sometimes you get so mad, I almost feel like I can see one of your hairs turn gray. Yeah, there it is. See You're looking for black poetry. There. Just go There's the dead. poetry. You're always looking for the poetry. <laughs> and it, it just, it's like one little tiny black hair and I could just see it go white. Fuck you, just fuck you, okay? Oh, Kim. I just, I had, I just feel so great. <laughs> I feel, the, whatever happened in that dream, like, Give me like I feel like I I can I feel like I can get that job today. I feel like I can get a new job. Really? Okay. Yes. Good. Good. That's great. No, that's I feel perfect. like I should be the boss. I'm feeling like what? Why am I just an employee? Why am I not the boss? Why am I not the boss? Look at me. Look at me, Kim. I'm like jumping up on our bed. Good. Good, you are. That's my toy. That's that's exactly what I. Good. I'm glad if that dream did that for you. Good. Good, darling. Wonderful. Yeah, I. I'm gonna call my boss. I'm gonna call my boss right now, and I'm gonna say. I need to be promoted. On the weekend? Don't, don't call me. It's on the weekend. Saturday. That's. I've got his phone number. No, don't, darling, please. Okay, don't. It's Leroy. Right. Leroy shouldn't be the boss. It's Leroy. Um. Okay. Call him if you want to. I. I think that this is. What, okay. Are you gonna call him right now? <laughs> Go for it. Right now. This is gonna be fun. I want. I'm gonna watch you do it. Okay. It's ringing. Leroy! Leroy! <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. I'm doing great. You won't believe me. I was talking to uh, Kim, and she thinks I'm... I'm sorry I called you on a Saturday. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, just hold on, just one second, just one second. I can't. You have to, you have to have, just come up with a reason for, oh, just, just tell him about work related, just make him something, okay? Get out of it. Oh, Leroy, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I, I just think that maybe I should be promoted. Like I could do more with, I'm, I'm got more potential. I know I can, 
rise to the occasion. I can take on more responsibility. I can be a supervisor. I can be somebody's boss. I could have my own little team of people. I can delegate. I can supervise them. I, I can use my mind. I don't have to just do like the grunt work, the bitch work. I can do like the high level thinking. I'm creative. Take off your pants. Take your pants off right now. Take off your fucking pants. <laughs> Leroy! Take off your pants. Take off your pants. You hear me? You, you feeling me? <laughs> Leroy, you know what I'm talking about. I could be the boss. I can be the leader. I can run. <laughs> we'll talk on Monday. We'll talk on Monday. Yeah! We're gonna talk on my Leroy could kiss you. Kiss my wife. Kim's kiss Kim. Kiss Kim. Yes, kiss Kim. All right, talk to you Monday. Get naked now. <laughs> we are fucking right now. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. It was politics. We're not doing no, politics. Not politics. Firing. Firing. Mm. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to register a complaint. I've recently been fired. I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. Are you currently an employee here? No, I've been fired. That's what I'm coming to complain about. I'm sorry, sir, but this complaint desk is only for current employees. Oh. Well, then I have a complaint. That yes? I, that I would like to be hired so that you can help me. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to go to personnel. Oh. Is a person at personnel? There's always a person at personnel, sir. Uh, I'd like to speak to your manager. Manager! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Hello. We are Megan Gray and Louis Pornfeld. We are coming to you next to a noisy train. It's the end train. You should probably close the window. And we are in Astoria, Queens, New York City. That train is one of the last trains of the night that's going to be heading into New York City. And uh, Megan is closing the windows for better. Should have did that earlier. We have them open because it's a it's a balmy day today. It's in the high 70s and it feels very summery. We got some nice air in the apartment. Um, what else? Well, we're so delighted to be here uh, uh, for uh, the New festival, South Comedy yeah. Festival uh, here. We are going to improvise for you in a moment. Uh, uh, Harrison asked us for plugs. Let's do this stuff. Watch. Harrison asked us for plugs. Um, so we'll do some plugs. I, 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 you can see me perform with the great Rick Andrews uh, every Sunday night at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time in our show Cornfield and Andrews on the Magna Theater Twitch channel. You can see Megan perform with the wonderful cast of the Armando Diaz Experience every Saturday night at 7.30, 7.30. Eastern Standard Time, uh, also part of the Magnet Twitch channel. Um, uh, Twitch.tv slash The Magnet Theater. The Magnet Theater. Um, and, uh, and, and those are our plugs. And so we are going to improvise for you, uh, what do we say, a, a relationship or a word? We'll do a relationship from the random word generator. Okay, I'm going to consult the random word generator from the relationship. Um, yeah, and our relationship is Castaway and Coconut. Castaway and Coconut. Thank you. You're hallucinating, you know. You've gone completely insane. No, you're you're here, I'm here, we're talking to each other. It's completely normal. I'm, I'm, it's not normal. It is. It's not normal for me. 
I'm the coconut and I'm not supposed to be having conversations with anybody or anything. Honestly, it's weird for me. I, I, I have so little range of experience to draw on that upholding even the shortest of conversations with you is really taxing every nerve. Derek, I, I just feel like we connect on so many levels. We, we have so much, you feel like we don't, we don't have a lot. We have so, we've been, I've been enjoying these conversations so much. And what's, what's with Derek? Derek is just such a, I mean, it's a fine name if you're a person, but, but that's the name that you projected on me, a coconut that's been anthropomorphized to become your best friend. And yes, I'm assuming probably lover at some point as this night carries on. Why Derek? It's such a bland name. I just, I can't fit my way into the name Derek and sense out what kind of personality I'm supposed to have. That's no offense to anyone who's named Derek out there on the mainland. But for me, again, with not much life experience to draw on, I just feel very blah about that name. You name me Derek and I just kind of feel like, oh, okay, I'm Derek. Well, I feel like you're not really getting my side of this. It's been, what, um, it's been... Months. I even made probably even close to a year. It's been, it's been, been 18 days. No. 18 days. You carved them on my side, see? Yeah. 5, I... 10, 15, and then 1, 2, 3. It's 18 days. Don't, please. Please. I need a little more romancing before you do whatever you're going to do with me. Who's Derek, anyway? Where'd that come from? It was the coolest guy in my high school. What is a high school? <sighs> I thought I talked about that last <sighs> night. You see, this you know, is what I'm talking about. brushing your fur. It's not fur. It feels like fur. What do you... To you, it's just, it's normal coconut hair. It's coconut hair. Please. Yeah. Do you want me to put you back with the other coconuts? Is no. that what you want? No. I'm just... I would like uh, 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 a little more respect, I think, is all. Just a little bit more of, of asking me about my life. What do you, what do you do when I go to the other side of the island and, and look for boats? What do you do? I sit quietly and I enjoy the feeling of milk inside my body, coconut milk. We were talking, isn't this? You are not listening to a word I'm saying. I can sense it. You're not listening to a word. You're just projecting this Derek Johnstone on me, your high school or whatever. Not, you're waiting not whatever to have your was... way, and you know you're leaping. You're leaping to romance before we've even established a friendship. Do you realize this friendship is completely one-sided? Don't cry. Don't cry. It's just really hard on me, Derek. Oh, don't cry. It's just so hard. There's no one here and to talk to, and I'm like a chatty. I was, I was on a cruise. My therapist put it together with, a, it was a therapy cruise. I was a bundle of emotions. And when I came on this island, the only survivor from, from that cruise that went down, I was, and here I saw you were the first thing I saw. Do you remember that? You remember I saw you and you just kind of rolled over to me. I felt something. I'm, I'm sorry. You've you've been through a lot, and I'm being insensitive to the fact that you feel a wide variety of emotions. I feel one emotion. You feel sadness, being being drawn away from your home, being drawn away from your species, having to fend for yourself, having to deal with the madness that you're projecting on the world around you. And, Maybe I've been a little callous and a you little have, insensitive you to that. Have. But but not 
to make excuses for myself, but please understand, contentment with the feeling of milk sitting calmly and quietly inside me is the only feeling I ever had. And all of a sudden I'm being thrust in to deal with your bundle of emotions, no offense, but it's a lot to keep track of and it's a lot to, it's a lot to, it's a lot to process. And frankly, you know, you come on strong. Am I attracted to you? Yes, a little bit. I I'm curious. Yes, I'm not going to deny that. But you project so much onto me. There's so many expectations. And, and, and frankly, you know, frankly, I, I feel like, well, I'm being used a little bit unfairly. I, I need to be coaxed into understanding these varieties of human emotions that you're projecting onto me. But here you're looking at me. You're not seeing me. You're not seeing a hairy coconut with 18 notches on his side and three hilarious coconut holes and a nice little thing of milk sitting quietly in his tummy. No, you're seeing Derek Johnstone. Yeah, but you're looking at me right now. You're seeing my hands gesticulating, aren't you? You're seeing my cool, pencil-thin mustache, aren't you? You're seeing my awesome leather jacket, aren't you? You're seeing my thick, pomaded hair and my cool, long sideburns, aren't you? You've one emotion and a limited experience, but you just described like a 1950s cool guy. I'm describing what you're projecting onto me, Veronica. These are your, these are your projections. I'm just an inanimate coconut. The only thing I know is the simple satisfaction of sitting next to a tree and having milk sitting it's oddly inside, inside, inside my milk. body. You're projecting all these details on me. You've gone stark raving mad and it's only been 18 days. Derek, I'm gonna roll you over here. Oh no. And that's our scene. Uh, 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 we covered a lot in that scene. We sure did. We think it's important in these times to take care of your mental health and check in on the people that you love and let this scene be a cautionary tale for, for all of us. Mm. Megan, I think that that was a very good scene. Be safe out there. Drink water. Uh, and, and, and all the rest. And all the rest. Have a good night. Bye. Day. Wherever. A, you can watch scenes. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, matter. It doesn't matter, matter anymore. There's no schedule left. Mm -hmm.